Hello, my name is Dr. Bob Remedi. I'm professor of biology at College of Lake County, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the COVID-19 and why we're concerned about it. To summarize in one word, it comes down to resources. The virus that's responsible for this disease spreads fairly easily from person to person. Many people are going to get sick, and some of them serious enough that they need to use a hospital. Unfortunately, there's not enough doctors, nurses, and hospital beds to provide care for all these people all at once. So right now, our job is to slow the spread of the disease as much as possible so that there's time to take care of everybody. But we have to do this in such a way that maintains our humanity and allow us to care for everybody that's going to be affected. Like the flu, coronavirus is spread from person to person in droplets when we sneeze and cough. And most likely when we leave those droplets on doorknobs and drink containers that can then be picked up by other people causing new infections. If you have symptoms including fever, cough, and shortness of breath, you have to be especially careful not to be spreading the virus. You should also contact your healthcare team to find out what to do next. To slow the spread of this virus, we're going to have to change some of the things that we're going to do. Number one, if you can stay home and avoid crowds, do so. Especially if you are sick or if you've been exposed to somebody who is sick. For example, the college I work for is ramping up our ability to provide course content online. And I'm recording my lectures and I'll be making these available to students in video format. I know a lot of other dedicated teachers who are doing something similar. Please give us the time to get these materials ready. However, some people don't have the ability to stay home and avoid people. Examples include those who are working in healthcare, food distribution, and other essential service areas. If that's the case, if you're healthy and there are no other restrictions, keep doing your jobs. But for those of us that can stay home and perhaps watch the children or family members of those that have to work, let's help each other if we can. Next, Please use good hygiene. Wash your hands regularly, even if you yourself are not sick. And if you need to sneeze or cough, do it into your elbow. Sneezing into your hand and then touching a doorknob or a gas pump gives the virus another opportunity to spread and cause new infections. It's also recommended that you use social distancing. So avoid unnecessary trips out and try to stay five to six feet away from other people while you are out. However, to avoid feeling alone, check in regularly with friends and family on the telephone and using social media, but keep it positive and supportive. This disease is going to cause a disruption to our regular routines, but with some flexibility, we're all going to be able to get through this. Finally, something important to remember. Some of the greatest minds around the globe are working on ways to test for, slow the spread of, and treat this disease. These scientists are not promoting uh, a particular ideology or point of view. Science is not political. It's objective, logical, and repeatable. Please don't make the coronavirus, climate change, or vaccines about any one particular party or government. Thank you. Stay safe and be healthy.